Hello Rafael, welcome to Kia Open Drive. Uh, your favorite holiday destination? Well, for me, the best place to be when I am on holidays is my hometown, is Mallorca, because I I am traveling almost every week around, and uh, when I have the chance to to be on holidays, I like to be back home, see the friends, see the family, and uh, you know, at the end, Mallorca is a beautiful place that uh, you have everything, and especially during the between April and October, the weather is fantastic, and you can enjoy the the Mediterranean Sea, and I really enjoy a lot. As one, what is like to be the best tennis player on the planet? Well, by the way, I never feel like <laughs> like that. I never feel that way. You know, circumstances uh, say that uh, today I I am in the number one of the ranking, but that changed very quick. You no, know? so I never felt like that. I just try to to play as good as I as I can and practice as as much as I can every day with the with the right attitude and then. Try to be very competitive in every every match and every tournament. And if that gave me the opportunity to to compete for for the best tournaments, very happy. And if not, just keep working. Next, do you spend much time on social media? Well, I well, I am using sure Twitter, Facebook, you know, all these these things that uh, that give me the chance to be more in, in communication with the fans and at the same time is a is a great uh, way to 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 follow news and to to be informed on on everything and sure that's that's you know, that's how the world is moving and I cannot go against the world so I am using social media yes more difficult the most difficult open to win. I don't know, everyone is difficult. <laughs> I, it's difficult for me to say one. It's true that uh, here in Australia I had a very tough tournament the year that I won and um, it's a tournament that I was a little bit unlucky because I get injured a few times. Last year I didn't have the chance to, to play and at the same time it's a tournament that I really love so much so I hope to to keep having chances in the in the future to compete well here and to to have another opportunities. But in my opinion, you know, when you are playing in a tournament that the best all the best players of the world are competing, so that's the most difficult thing. Best thing about home. Well, I, for me, it's everything. I I am a very familiar guy. I love to be with with uh, with my people, with my family, my friends, and at the same time, I I am from a beautiful place like like Mallorca. That uh, that, as I said before, we have uh, a lot of things to to enjoy, to to visit. So everything is good in Mallorca. If you were an animal, what would you be? <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. <laughs> what makes you loud? Well, a lot of things. I, I, I like to have fun with friends, uh, family. So, good company. I, I don't know why. I, I am not very difficult to. It's not very difficult to to make me loud. So, a lot of things. What do you love about the Australian Open? Well, I think it's the easiest Grand Slam for the players. Everybody is very friendly with with us. People on the on the organization, the fans are you know, one of the best. So I really enjoy being here. And um, if you ask the most of the players, the most of the players will tell you that this. It's the friendly Grand Slam with uh, with us, so just can say thank you very much, everybody here. Who is your greatest rival? Uh, for me, gonna be not fair if I will say one, but uh, it is true that uh, with 
Roger, we we had a, a lot of important matches in our careers in very difficult, very different styles, both of us, so that makes the matches a little bit special because everybody knows what they're going to try, everybody knows what he's going to try, so that's that makes the, the matches interesting and against Novak last couple of years we, we are playing you know a lot of times and in, in a dramatic matches very long and very very tough ones and that became another great rivalry you know so it's, it's difficult for me to say one and for sure that's that's against these two players is the players that I really played more in more in, in more important matches but I cannot forget uh, Andy Murray, David Ferrer, Berdic, uh, Del Potro, a oh, lot of great players that I cannot say everyone, but a lot of great players that they are there that are uh, fantastic rivals. Can you send your fans a message in Spanish? <laughs> bueno, hola a todos. <laughs> desde aquí, desde, desde el Guías Fortesen. En Melbourne, pues os mando un abrazo muy fuerte y daros las gracias para, para apoyarme siempre de la, de la manera como que lo hacéis. Sinceramente, pues cada vez que salgo una pista y siento vuestro apoyo, para mí es un momento muy, muy especial. O sea que muchísimas gracias y nos vemos pronto aquí en Australia. ¿Qué es tu favorito nickname? I don't know, I don't have. I cannot, I cannot say one. <laughs> Earliest tennis memory. Hmm. I don't know. I think. Uh, well, we, for me, the earliest memory that I had is with three, four years old, going to the tennis club and just practicing a little bit there with my uncle in the front on. <laughs> Advice to young people wanting to be a tennis star. Well, for me, my advice is first thing that they have to think is not being a tennis star. <laughs> first advice for me is just they just enjoy the moment, just have fun with friends when you are a, a kid and then you will have time to 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 think about try to be a professional or try to be very focused on what are you doing. The most important thing when you are a kid is have fun, enjoy practicing a sport, tennis, different sports, studying, and uh, and then try your best in in every practice, and we'll see what's going on later. Tell us something we don't know about you. I don't know. I talk it a lot of times with, <laughs> with a lot of. In a lot of interviews, it's difficult to say something that you don't know, but uh, I really hate the the dark. I I'm scared when it gets dark, <laughs> and uh, that's it. Sometimes I I need to to sleep with the TV on. <laughs>